Hello, Taurus. I know I've got some Tauruses out there. I've been hearing from you. <clears throat> You've been requesting a reading. And I'm shuffling the cards. I'm trying to get the energy in here for the sign of Taurus. Please go down and like this video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Um, this reading for Taurus is just a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, if it does, you know, take the um, information, take the advice, and do what you need to do. Always seek medical advice from your physician. Okay. Um, oh, I thought I saw a card pop out and then I went right back in. I do have the spirit box running <clears throat> on occasion if spirit is in the room, especially for Taurus. Um, spirit, if you're in the room, feel free to use the spirit box. Say something if you would like. And here we go. <clears throat> wow, Taurus. Um, you have the Justice card and the Judgment card side by side. Man, you have been dealing with some stuff. Um, it kind of looks to me like it could be, you know, just something like, um, let's just say taxes. I'm just using that as an example. It does appear to be something legal that you've been dealing with. This could even be something financial, like a divorce or a breakup. Um, and actually, it's something that's left unresolved financially. <clears throat> We've got the world and the Empress card. Um, Taurus, it's not as bad as you feel like it is. You're making it harder on yourself. You're overthinking this. You're in your head too much. Um, let that go. You know, you're. I can see you have a difficult time making a decision, um, Taurus. You know, I try not to make these readings the heart because there's too many tarot readers on YouTube right now that do readings strictly about love. Um, and if you go look... Uh, just go over here on YouTube, put your sign in, and see how many come up. Good, good readers, but they're all about love, and I don't want mine to be just about love. I just want them to be general. Um, but however, Taurus does look like um, you're experiencing, you know, some relationship issues right now. Um, let's see if I can. Figure this out a little deeper. Yes, yes, yes. The more relationship cards and confusion. Um, there is a ton of confusion around you about this particular relationship. Um, you also got the uh, lover's card. <clears throat> and the three of cups. Now, some, this could actually be a relationship with a uh, with a child too, um, because I'm feeling like Taurus has been worried about one of their kids, perhaps here, somebody you know, somebody you. Um, if you're a Taurus and you don't happen to have kids, it's somebody that you might think of like a child. Um, you know, somebody you kind of adopted. One of those people just kind of hangs around quite a bit. The Devil card. Two of Swords. And the Hermit card. 
Um, Taurus, you, it's looking like you're, you're, what you might be dealing with is Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Taurus, it may look like you're dealing with um, somebody that has got um, an addiction issue. Um, can be drugs or alcohol. Could even possibly be um, sex or pornography. Not very likely, but those are all things that, you know, um, could even be food. Um, you know, those are all addictions. Um, you may be dealing with a, a Leo um, in the middle of all this chaos. And there might be a Libra. Um associated with this whole stinking mess that you got going on. Um, Taurus, this is a rough looking general reading. You know, you're, I, I can see where you don't know what to do. Um, you feel like you're uh, caught between a rock and a hard place, so to speak. I mean, there she is There's, in the background. You can see your a rock <laughs> and a hard place. Um, which way do I go? You're trying to help somebody that's got some kind of dependency. They're draining you of money, too. You know, I feel like you're helping them out quite a bit. And even though you feel like you're helping, you might be providing them with a place to stay. You might be just helping them out occasionally, like with a phone bill. If you know that they do have an issue with... Um, an addiction, don't feed that addiction. You're a codependent when you're allowing them to do that. And by giving them money in one means or another, um, <clears throat> you're kind of, you're helping them with their problem. Now, here's the good part. Man, right off the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups. It, it looks pretty tough right now. It looks like you've got some challenges ahead of you. Um, this person might be just messing around with a little extra drugs or alcohol or whatever because, you know, they're, they're not working right now and they've got that time to, to kind of just loaf and, um, and, and, and horse around and play. Um, that Ten of Cups tells me it's going to pass, though. Okay? Just keep loving them. Just keep supporting them. Um, just be there for them. This reading is for Taurus. And it's been a very kind of a, a, a touchy situation here for Taurus. You know, this might even be somebody that's still using um, prescribed medications just in the wrong way. You know, I also feel that this person's got some confusion going on mentally, too. Um, it may, could even be an imbalance of medications that they may be on for something like, um, you know, depression or anxiety. And they have been have become dependent on those medications to feel stable. Don't feel like it's happening. Um, this might not be a true drug issue like um, messing around with opioids or something like that. Um, I think this is, Taurus knows somebody that's got their medications, um, maybe for me most likely for mental illness, um, are not in line. Um, they just may need some adjustment um, because it, it, it's it's going to be okay. You know, there's that outcome. That's the bottom line. Um, don't let um, some negativity get you down. Um, look at the brighter side of everything when you can. I know it's not always easy, but um, Taurus, it's going to work out. It's going to be okay. This too shall pass. 
Um, I'm going to send you love and light. And if you need to talk, if it gets uh, anything else that's a little more serious, I'm going to be start. Uh, I'm going to start doing um, deeper, more detailed readings over at Patreon.com. So see me there. Follow me more um, at Facebook. Um, Tina Beach, your psychic medium, and you can contact me through Facebook um, if you're looking to set a, a personal appointment. As always, I send you love and light. And thank you.